it feels great to use that intro again. What is speeding everybody in the ring army? My name is Nice and welcome back to the channel and get ready to get kicked out of the hall. Today I want to talk about the Sonic games that I've only played so far. So these are the games that I've only played throughout my life and I hope to play some more soon. Before we get started, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to not miss any new videos and to join the ring army. Also, I have a voice acting Instagram account, so if you are a fan of cartoons, movies, and song covers, come check out my page and follow. I'm trying to hit 700 followers before 2021, so I'd really appreciate your support. And yes, I will continue to promote my Instagram until I reach 700 followers. Get used to it. With that out of the way, let's get started. Number one was actually my first ever Sonic game that I've played, and that game was Sonic unleashed. This takes me back to my good old days as a little kid who obsesses over everything. I'm glad Sonic Unleashed was my first because it's such a good game and it shows a great entrance to the Sonic franchise. Number 2 was Sonic Heroes. This game was also the main reason I got into Sonic even more. This was such an amazing experience to go through and it actually introduced me to a lot of Sonic characters at the time. It's the second most nostalgic game for me. Third game I've played was Sonic and the Secret Rings. Now this one was the most challenging and the most confused fun I have ever had in a Sonic game for now. I remember me getting stuck on the tutorial. Yes, the tutorial. And I remember running through the desert and it was a lot to take in for me at the time since I was just a child. I never actually completed this game. Most of the Sonic games I've played, I never actually finished them. Just Unleashed and Forces. Fourth game I've played was Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't care if people don't count this as a Sonic game, but it is a Sonic character, so I am counting it. Sue me. Don't. Shadow the Hedgehog was a turn in the Sonic face for me because it wasn't what I expected to be honest. When I first saw this game, I saw a commercial or the trailer of it on YouTube and it looked awesome for me. So I got it and played it a little bit and I didn't play more of it because I was confused on how to move onward of the game. Fifth game I've played was Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2. I do remember Tails being in it, so this is the game I played years ago. It is a mobile game, so I did play it on my phone a bit. I don't remember me playing it a lot. I think I just downloaded it and played it twice and then never played it again. I did enjoy it because it's on the phone and it felt great playing Sonic on the phone and it was a small indie game that I experienced back then. I didn't play the first episode because I didn't <laughs> I didn't know about it, so I just downloaded any Sonic game from the App Store at the time. So yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2 was the first ever Sonic mobile game I played I, that I remember honestly. Sixth game I've played was Sonic Generations. This one was pretty good and really popular back then when it came out. Duh. I remember the hype around when it came out and I was like 8 so me and my cousins were really crazy about this one. I played this game on my 3DS when I had it and I loved it so much that I played it every day for like a week until I've almost beaten it. I don't remember if I completed it or not but I did enjoy the game and I hope I can play it again someday. Seventh game I've played was Sonic Dash. I know you guys know this one. Sonic Dash was a fun road trip game on the phone that I used to have and I was kind of addicted like how I was with Subway Surfers a bit. It wasn't great, but it was good for passing the time. I haven't played it in a while, and I don't see me playing it again anytime soon, but it is decent for a mobile game. <laughs> Eighth game I played was Sonic Forces. I just played it this year and I've streamed it a bit months ago and it was a decent game if I'm being honest. I don't seem to hate it like how some people do, I just find it as a meh Sonic game, at least for the modern times. I've completed this one too. It was really short but it's decent for a modern Sonic game. I know classic Sonic is in here but I don't know, I just find it more as a modern Sonic game. Ninth game I played was Sonic Mania. Now this one is a pain. I can't even beat Flying Battery Zone. I'm stuck on that level 24-7. It makes me mad, honestly, and I don't see me installing the game again. I'm sorry, but I just can't. It's good for reimagining the original Sonic game, but I just can't deal with that zone. The game was fun at first, but now it's just annoying for me, but I guess it's decent. Tenth game I played was Team Sonic Racing. I remember when I first got it, it was released last year, so it's like the most recent Sonic game, at least with Sonic himself. It's like any racing game with weapons and all, there was two other Sonic racing games like this one and I have to admit, those games are better than this one. It's fun but not really hyping or getting excited for. Which brings me to my 11th game I've played, Sonic All Stars Racing Transform. Now this one was one of the best Sonic games I've ever played. Me and my family used to play this every day for weeks. I used to be my sister and my dad all the time in this game and I want to go back and play it again. Wow, this game is just a wow experience. If you haven't played it, play it. 12th game I've played was Sonic the Fighters. I played this on my PS4 and honestly, 
It was fun. I enjoyed playing this with my cousin and it's a fun little Mortal Kombat type of game. I just like looking at the Sonic characters fighting each other and I can't get enough of it. Would I play this game again? Yeah, of course. It's really, really fun. Now, the final two games I've played are Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Now, these are the most popular Sonic games that I've heard and I don't blame them. When I first played them, it was filled with bright colors and fun gameplay and I can see why people love it so much. To be fair, I only played like 2 hours of each game and I didn't finish it, but I did enjoy playing it when I was and I hope I can finish it one day. And those were all the Sonic games I have played so far. Judging from what I've played, I have a lot to catch up on, <laughs> no kidding. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, let's go for 300 likes everyone. Subscribe if you're new here to join the Ring Army. My name is Nice, Pet the Sophia, and I'll see you guys next time.